Hey everyone, what's up? It's Mandy coming at you with another video that's a little different. I'm going to do a little series of mine. Another top three video. This one is top three quick service places over at California Adventure Park. So let's get started. Okay, so I have to say first and foremost that I tend to like restaurants at Disneyland a little bit better, especially for quick service. Um, so if you haven't checked out my other video yet, I'm gonna put it right here. I do have top three that I'm going to tell you about today. Um, I think my top two are maybe more so my favorites. Um, However, these are all good restaurants. I really can't remember having a bad meal ever at Disneyland except for one time at the Red Rose Tavern and it wasn't bad, it just was bad for me. So um, Disney does pretty well at their food and I think just when I don't like something, it's my personal preference um, of this isn't something that I just enjoy. So, um, so here we go. Number three today on my list will be Flo's V8 Cafe. Now, this in itself is a really great restaurant, but I just haven't been here enough times to fully put it a little bit higher on my list. I hear great things about it. They also have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's in Cars Land. So, I mean, it's got to be great, right? This restaurant is themed wonderfully. I mean, the inside is just so, I don't know of another word, but themed. Like, it's the most themed to a land, I think, in the parks and it really just the atmosphere is amazing you could even sit outside on the on the porch or like at a window and see radiator springs racers i mean can you get much better than that i haven't actually been for breakfast but i hear that they have outstanding breakfast so it's really on the top of my list to go there for breakfast but i have been for lunch so i wouldn't say that i have a go-to favorite here because i've only been here a handful of times however the first time i went i ended up getting the fillmore's pot pie wasn't necessarily my thing. It was a little spicy and the pot pie was less, um, just not what I was expecting. It was good. The flavors were definitely good. It had some peppers in there, which I think really was the issue because I'm not a huge fan of peppers. Um, but I'll read the description here. It's got creamy sweet corn um, and potato, chiles, cheddar, cheese, and flaky pie crust and fresh fruit. So I'm obviously wrong about the peppers. It was the chiles. That's what I didn't like. Um, However, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't my jam. The Ramones Low and Slow Club Sandwich, great. I think there are other options on here that I would prefer instead of the pot pie, and everything else has been great. Um, the Low and Slow Club is basically a club sandwich, so you've got turkey breast, crispy break, um, bacon, chicken bacon, avocado bacon mayo, lettuce, and tomato, and then it's just on toasted white bread, and then they have steak fries, which are always really good. One other cool thing about Flo's is not only can you get alcohol here, but you can also get shakes. So you could get like a classic vanilla chocolate or strawberry shake, or um, they also have this like special souvenir glass that says Cars Land that you can get them in. It's so cool. And it's just like a fun place to go. Again, really kid friendly and just very thematic. And um, just for the atmosphere alone, I would say you have to go see it and get, at least get a shake. That would be my suggestion. Another good thing is there's always good seating here. It's um, part of it's air conditioned and there are seats outside, but that's really important on a hot day in California. You need that air conditioning, so it's really nice. And like I said, you can look out on Radiator Springs, Radiator Springs Racers and watch it as it goes by while you eat. I mean, how can you really, you can't get much better than that. This one also has mobile order, so you really just can't beat it, and I think you should try it. My number two is Smoke Jumper's Grill. This one is by Soren, and this, again, is like your classic um, burgers, chicken, uh, type of place. It's themed after like a campfire or camping or, um, you know, that kind of stuff because they've got chili and like chili fries and they've also got a chili um, cheeseburger, which sounds amazing. Um, my go-to here is just the regular chicken tenders. Um, they're pretty standard, but they're delicious and sometimes you just want that classic park food. Uh, Another thing I'll mention here are waffle fries and onion rings, both of which you can get as sides or with any of the meals. They've also got mac and cheese. 
Um, and it's different mac and cheese, so I'm going to read you the ingredients. It's spiky, <laughs> spicy green chili mac and cheese, crumbled cornbread, chipotle crema, and crispy pork belly served with a choice of waffle cut fries or onion rings. See? So, I mean, this is like an all-around good place. Two hours later. They've also got a grilled chicken salad and they've got a veggie burger. So there really are a bunch of options here. It's it's your standard burger and chicken tenders, but they've got some different and unique options just like any other place. You can also get alcohol here and they do mobile order. So this is another all around great place. Very easy place to go quick and stop and have a quick meal that's efficient, delicious, and you can sit in some air conditioning. Oh yeah, did I mention that? Air conditioning. And my number one for California Adventure would be Cochina Cucamonga Mexican Grill. Now, I hope I'm saying that right, but um, it's either Cocina or Cochina. You guys will have to correct me. Either way, Mexican place and very delicious. Very standard, very good. Here, they have black beans, which are my favorite. So I generally get the uh, fish street tacos and... Those are just always so delicious. They come with rice and beans, and they're always very, very good. Here they have a bunch of different options as well. You can get the street tacos. Now I get fish, but you can also get um, chicken or beef, I think. Yes, chicken or beef. And then um, they have bowls, which is the same thing, but without the tacos, so a little bit more healthy. And then they also have like a half chicken plate. They've got... Um, pork al pastor, you know, they've got all kinds of different things and different than the Mexican restaurant over at Disneyland, which I uh, referenced in my other video. So it's nice that they have um, two, you know, Mexican style restaurants with different options that you can get and have some variety if you're there for a couple of days. You can also get margaritas here. So that is a plus and I have done that and they're 100% delicious. There's plenty of seating here. Now it's outdoor seating, but this, um, restaurant is in the area of a bunch of other different restaurants and so um, they have the restaurants kind of on the outside and then the seating in the middle. It is right next to the Pacific Wharf Cafe and the Lucky Fortune Cookery. So that's Asian food and then like um, bread bowls and salads and things like that. So we've got a really good variety for maybe people in your party that don't all want Mexican. We've got a bunch of different options right in the same area and it's just it's really a, it's a go-to place for me honestly. And to top it all off, you can mobile order here too. So really it's easy, it's quick, it's delicious, they've got options, it's great for the family and for your friends and whoever else you're bringing to Disneyland. So I would highly recommend all three of these places. So that's it. Those are my top three for Disney California Adventure quick service places. I wanna know what your favorite restaurant is for quick service meals over at DCA. So let me know in the comments. Until next time, thanks so much for watching guys. See ya.